Hi, welcome back to this channel. Now, because I've been playing for so long, right, so I like my grip a particular way and I'm going to show you how to tie the badminton grip yourself and um, I'll also show you how I do it for me, okay? So I'm very particular. I think the regular cushion kind of grip, right, is too thick for me. But then uh, this Yonex Super Grab, right, is also too thin. So I always tie this double layer, okay? So you can see over here, this is the new Astrox 77 Pro. I'm going to take out the original grip first and after it's done it's going to look exactly like this 100 zigzag that I love using okay yeah so you need to look for the the start of the tape then you start unraveling can you see like oh, there's some remnants left over right and it's not clean over here so this is very troublesome and you have to slowly peel it off so that you will become clean like that right otherwise you'll be like of different thickness Actually, it's not very difficult to retie a grip wrap, but the difficult part is getting those sticky thing out of the wood. I'm not so sure why it happens because not all rackets, not all your next racket, are like that. But just sometimes it happens. So you see, it's clean now. It's done. I remove all the black part. Okay, and then this one you can throw away. Okay, so I like to tie this rubber grip. And um, no matter what kind of grip you use, right, they usually have a layer of protective plastic over it. Okay, and this is like a life hack. Okay? So what I'll do is that I'll remove the plastic and instead of throwing it away, I'm going to wrap it around the wooden handle. Why do I do this? So that the next time when I remove it, it will not stick to the wooden handle and I'll not have such a tough time like I did a while ago. Okay, so it goes like this. You can just spin it around and around and around and around. And that's where I start the grip here. And okay, so this is where your preference will vary, right? If you want a thicker grip, you have more overlap. If you want a thinner grip, you have less overlap. Okay, so I usually overlap by about 30 to 35%. So what you need to do is you make sure that the amount that's overlap is equal throughout, right? Then it will look nice and it will feel uniform as well. So you want to cut it slanted this way. Okay, so you see this grip is supposed to continue this way Then I'll cut it diagonally like that And you can see how uniform this looks Okay, but I'm going to do another layer Okay, I'm going to take out the plastic and wrap it around the grip So that it's going to make it easier the next time I remove it Okay Okay, done with the plastic wrap And then I'm going to go another layer To about 40% overlap Okay, so the final part, I'll just make sure this is snug. Okay, and it goes all the way to the edge. And then I'll take one of this. Okay, so with the Yonex sticky tape, right, there is usually one corner that is uh, already cut out this way. And this is where you start um, pasting it on the grid. And then you got to kind of stretch it 20%. Right, you can see the words are a little bit stretched. And uh, this is how I think uh, or how I feel is the most secure. And then I'll go um, up and down a little bit so that I make sure I cover more area and more grip and more of the racket. This is how you tie your racket grip. Thank you.